Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be having a little look at the Orc Codex. Specifically, we're going to be having a look at the Death Killer Wartrike. Now, I might have mispronounced that. Uh, we'll have a look in a second. Before we begin, though, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button and destroy the bell button with your chopper so that you never miss an upload. Cool. So let's go to page, I think it's 90. Probably discussed this in previous videos, but the way the reader works, it's possibly page 89. Yep. But just because it counts the cover as a as a page. So there is other stats here, but we're probably going to be looking at the difficult war tribe. Again, I'll try not to move around too much, but you know, it's going to happen. Um, so if you'd like to see, uh, if you'd like to do a screenshot of the rules, go for it now. Boom. Cool. So, <clears throat> Um, we have a HQ unit here, a power level of 6. The Death Killer Wartrike has a movement of 14 inches. Weapon skill 2, which is good. We ballistic skill 5, which is standard. Uh, strength 5, which is good. Toughness 6, which is great. Uh, wounds of 8, which is good, for a specific reason we'll talk about in a second. 5 attacks. Leadership of 7, which is okay. And a save of a 4 plus, which is good. So the reason the, um, where was we talking about? We literally just said about a second. Wounds of 8 is good because we also have the character keyword right at the bottom left there. Which means you cannot target this unit unless it's the closest unit. Which is good. Uh, so, <clears throat> the Death Killer War Trike is equipped with a killer jet. The crew is armed with a snagger claw and a and three twin boomsticks. So the killer jet, so also you I should mention you don't have the option to um, arm it in any different way, which is not good in my opinion. Um, I mean we'll have a look at the rules to make sure, but I think um, Effectively, they've nerfed the HQ. So you used to get a strength eight power claw on a war boss on a war bike, um, a war bike on a bike. Anyway, on a bike, so you could get a possible. In fact, it used to be more than that. It used to be like a strength ten power claw driving up the board. So I personally think they've nerfed it a little bit, and we'll talk about that in a second. But we'll see if we think it's any good. So we talked about the killer jet. So we'll talk about that first. Um, killer jet is. It says, when attacking with this weapon, choose one of the profiles below. You can either assault 8 inch range D6, uh, 5 strength, minus 1 AP, 1 damage, automatically hits the target, which is good for orc shooting. However, <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, and then you've got the cutter, which basically is going to act a little bit like the, um, the burner boys, which I should do a review of, to be honest, but we haven't done that yet. Um, it has Assault 2, Strength 8, minus 4 AP, and D6 damage. It could do a lot of damage. If the target is within half the range of this weapon, roll 2 dice when inflicting the damage and discard the lowest. So it's effectively like a melter weapon. However, it doesn't automatically hit. So, you're going to be hitting on 5s. Any 6s are going to get an additional hit. It's a bit of a gamble, to be honest. Um, but you can advance... Um, and hit on sixes. You know that you know the drill by now, to be honest. But that's what you can do. You also have the snagger claw as a shooting range of eight, so it ties in with your um, eight-inch uh, threat bubble on the other gun, on the killer jet. Assault one, so it's one shot, strength four, one damage. You can reroll wound rolls for attacks made for this weapon. So this is going to be mainly aiming at um, your what's the word? Um, Basic infantry guys, so uh, it's not that it's not that well, but it's rather underwhelming to be honest. I can't really say anything good things about that weapon. Uh, twin boomstick, so you've got three twin boomsticks. Um, Twelve inch range, so you're getting up close for these. All of these attacks is no long ranged attacks. Um, you have got assault two, so basically six shots. Um, strength five, no no AP, one damage. If the target's within half the range, add one to hit rolls for targets with a weapon. So that's actually good, in my opinion. 
so but you'd have to be within six inch range but if you get trying to get up within eight inches you might as well try and get up within six inches of the model so you can get the basically hit on fours six strength five attacks so you're aiming in my opinion this is aimed at um, attacking basic infantry and bullying um infantry to be honest so let's say well okay so let's have a quick look at it i feel like it's aimed at taking things out like a um, tactical squad or incessors and i'll tell you why you've got five attacks weapon skill two plus so you're more than likely going to hit your weapon uh, which we'll talk about right now is plus two strength strength seven ap2 d3 damage you can reroll wound rolls for attacks with this weapon so it means you're more than likely going to hit you're more than likely going to wound you're going to take two off their save so in attack you've got five attacks so that's probably more than enough to take off more than likely but not definitely uh, three to four guys you're then also going to be shooting at them which is probably going to take off somewhere in the region of three to four guys so you're going to either heavily cripple or um destroy something like a 10-man tactical squad or a five-man incessor squad that's what i think this is aimed at okay you can disagree with me, it's fine. Um, I don't know why I'm actually specifically asking the question. Anyway, stupid. So we also have the Here We Go special rule, the mob rule, and the Daka 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 rule, which we've already talked about. Uh, but Here We Go means you can re-roll your, your, um, your charge distance. So you've got a 14-inch move and a possible 12-inch um, charge range. So you can make a charge within 26 inches within the first turn. All going well there's other things that we can add to it in a minute which we'll talk about but you um, basically can do that it says um, speed war friendly clan biker and vehicle units within six inches of this model at the start of the charge phase can charge if even if they advanced so that would also include this guy so you can advance which is going to make you move um, d6 plus 14 but we'll have a look uh, fuel makes a grot once per battle when this model advances add six to its move um characteristic for that movement phase instead of rolling a dice so you can make a 20 inch charge nope you can make a 20 inch advance roll when you advance you can fire all your assault weapons on minus one to hit um, and you can also charge within 12 inches and re-roll those charges so you've effectively got a 30 nicholas how oh, does math work it's 32 inch threat bubble from the start of the game so you can get first turn charges with this which is good um, which is significantly makes this a lot better to be honest um explodes uh d6 on a six within three inches suffers one mortal wound so it's not like d6 or d3 mortal wounds it's one mortal wound okay so this is my opinion you're going to be mainly aiming it at getting your other unit your other um biker and vehicle units so you could tie this with um your defcopters in fact i think defcopters have a 14 inch move and they are speed freaks units too you could also tie this with biker units you're basically getting them guys up for combat in my opinion and you're aiming it at um bully you're going to basically use this as a bully unit to get rid of troops obviously you can rip through guardsmen like there's no tomorrow with this but um you know a little bit close to the home on that one so what we'll do is now we'll have a look at the stratagems and i'll try to remember the keywords which is kind of fun and we'll also have a quick look at the orc cultures but also with it being a hq we could look at some of the equipment so this might be a slightly longer video uh mob up we're not going to listen to that one medisquig so a character a three inch of a d of a pain boy you're probably not going to be doing that to be honest snag a grapple this one's literally aimed at the death killer war trick uh, model from your army uh, falls back in the move phase before the model uh, moves select a unit within one inch and roll a d6 on a two plus that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds so again this is good um for you could also attack each characters if they've got the characters up front and you could do that to a which is more than likely going to happen between one and three mortal wounds which is good to be honest one stratagem yeah so um it's basically aimed specifically at the um the uh the war war one command points the only thing that's aimed at i think ramming speed as well so this is good you can roll 3d6 when making your charge basically almost definitely guaranteeing that charge on the first turn 
which is good. And also, you get you roll a d6. Um, on a 2+, plus, that mo enny unit suffers d6 mortal wound, d3 mortal wounds. So you can possibly get between 2 and 3 if you use the snagger grapple, um, whatchamacallit, on characters and other units. You can almost definitely kill a unit with d3, a uh, small unit anyway, I should say. Extra gubbins, uh, you could use that one too, basically giving you more character more um, character, if I can speak English today, um, giving them extra shiny gubbins basically, which is good, get stuck in, orc infantry, that does not apply to us, we've probably looked at this one, orc is never beaten, but basically not room for them, you can use this one, stratagem, an orc character model in your army is slain, model is not removed from battlefield as normal, you can immediately shoot as if it was in your shooting phase again, uh, shooting phase, I'll fight as if it was in the fire phase, so again, you could use that. Um, you've got a good amount of attacks at strength 7. Um, and you've got a good enough sh amount of shots if you're getting up close. That one's not really going to count for us. Billowing Exhaust Cloud Speed Freaks. Uh, subtracts 1 to hit. That's a good one. Um, more Daka. Good also. Because you're going to get all them extra attacks. However, there's only really 6 or 7 attacks that you're going to get. That are going to benefit from it. So I probably wouldn't use that specifically. Hard boys is not going to come to count on us. Teleporter. You could use that, but you don't need to. He can move pretty darn fast, to be honest. Extra stick bombs. Doesn't have stick bombs, I don't believe. Uh, but, 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 grot shield. Okay. -ish. Looted. Not going to work. Uh, doesn't have fly, so that's not going to count. Um, that's boys. Monster hunters. Ah, uh, snake bite. Da da da. Let's go to a couple of turn. Or more, add one to rolls. Okay, so that's okay, but you know, really, is it? So, use the stratagem. Shooting phase selects an evil sun speed freaks unit from your army. Immediately make a move as if it was in the movement phase, but cannot charge this turn. So, that's okay, to be honest. Um, you can get him out of, out of the way, and let's be honest, if you did want to. Was yes, yeah, so you could save the um, mixer grot fuel thing, get in, um, do some shooting, and then get out again. Probably not likely, and I'd probably use him for um, shooting to be honest. Wreckers, you know, I'd probably use that more for the um, for death copters to be honest. Death skulls, reroll wound, uh, target enemy vehicles. You're not aiming this guy at vehicles, to be honest. I mean, you have got some good, strong attacks for it, but I probably wouldn't. And that's aimed at infantry, so that's not us. That's infantry, it's not aimed at us. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, use a stratagem to start your shooting phase. Roll D3 points. Okay, so that's okay, but it's not specific to that model. Scarboy's not going to count on us. So those are stratagems I'd probably use. Uh, not the one, all of the ones are red, but I did tell you which ones. Um... Shiny coming. So this is actually going to apply to us. Models with custom shooter only, so that's not it. Head Whoppers Kill Chopper. Nope. We can't make any adjustments. So it has to be something to kill a claw. Um, power Claw, so that's not going to count with us. And Psyker, nope. Get Stopper Shells. Nope. So that's not us either. I don't think we're going to be able to use any of these, are we? The Lucky Stick. Goth Model only, so you have to use a Goth Model. Add one to hit rolls made by friendly Goth characters whilst... Models are within six inches of the bearer in the fight phase. In addition, you can reroll hit and wound rolls for attacks made by this bearer in the fight phase. So that could be good, but I don't know if you'd be going for goths to be honest. But that could be good. Um, they're just hit rolls in the bearer in the fight phase, so specifically in the fight phase, it could be good. Um, blood axe if you're wallard, second general, that's okay, but you're probably not what you're going to be aiming him for. Evil Sun's model add one to move characteristic of the transport while the bearer is in bat is inside. In addition, the bearer in bat is starting move for us to do it within one duffers. So that's not really going to apply to this specific guy. So we're running out of uh, ones that we can take. Custom combi, blah blah blah. So nope, that's not us. Um, Death Skulls model only. The bearer gains the big mechanic, mechanic, me I can't pronounce that. I shouldn't have. Mechanic, mechanic, mechanic. Good golly gosh. Uh, page 86. If the 
bearer has the ability, it regains three more wounds instead of d3. So you could use this. This is actually a good one um, for him. However, you'd be death skulls, giving you a six up invuln, rerolling one or two of the um, hit or wound rolls, or you could use it to reroll a damage. So that would be good on the effectively melter weapon. Um, the amount of damage that you can do with that one. So that could be good, but it's not reliable in my opinion. Uh, Snake bite model Bros Brog's Buzz Bomb has the following profile. So you could have this. Um, 6 inch, 3d6, strength 5, which is once per battle. Automatically hits its target after all the attacks have been resolved. You can immediately select another enemy unit within 6 inch and 2d6. Attacks. So that would be good. Plus, you'd also have your six up feel no pain, which is good. Um, I'm, I'm torn, I'm torn. And that one again, we're probably not going to be using it because it says about the banner, so we're not going to be using the banner in this one. So, the fixer uppers is good. I think the lucky stick is good. Um, these are the only ones that you can really take. And the snake, the brog's buzz gum is probably going to be good too. Um, I, I don't know which one I would take to be honest. I don't know if I'd keep him as the warlord. We'll have a quick look at the clan cultures, which I think is just before the stratagems, and it is indeed. Anta teeth, that's okay, but you've got some auto hitting weapons that are probably not good for this one. I think we're going to be leaning towards the speed freaks and weather. We might change our minds in a minute. Goths, no mucking about. Basically, you get a six, you get an additional hit. Um, kind of get further hits. You could add one to the um, hits um, with the, the lucky stick because he would count in that one, and basically meaning you're going to hit on well hit on ones. You're going to make the other guys hit on ones, but you're also going to be rerolling those uh, additional hits for the sixes. You've got a decent amount of attacks, but personally, you're probably still lean towards the evil sons. Go faster. Add one, but you'd add two, so you'd move sixteen inches. You could definitely auto charge with your uh, fuel mixer dude, making it 22 inches, and you've got a charge range of uh, 12 inches. So, maths does not serve me. 34 inch charge rate bubble on the first turn. That's going to be pretty sick. Add one to advance rolls, charge rolls. You wouldn't add one to it because it's an auto six. Or would you? It says add ones to charge rolls. Yes, yeah, so you didn't roll for it. Um, do not suffer. Um, penalty using an advancing and firing heavy weapons. So if anything, it's almost definitely the red ones go faster is the best one. Look at it, six plus one. We've already talked about that one. Um, and the the six up feel no pain is pretty good, and the addition to have that one. However, let's be brutally honest, you're going to be using the speed freaks uh, for this one. That would be my my go to. Um, if I'm honest, we'll have a quick look at the points, but I don't think I've remembered all the different stats that are on there. Um, are they on here? So we're going to look at the Death Killer War Trike. He is ba -ba -ba, 120 points. Hmm. Uh, let's see if we can see some of the weapons that he gets. Um, what has he got? Snagger something. Snagger Claw, zero points. Good. That's good. Um, we said boomsticks, didn't we? Boomsticks, boomsticks, boomsticks. Is it boomsticks? I might think it was something else. Uh, something. I'm sure it's something boomsticks. Maybe I'm wrong. The cap seems to. Or is it? Obviously, if you see it in the in in, let us know in the comments down below. Twin boomstick, zero points. Good. It was the something jet that we needed, wasn't it? Uh, Ba, 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 ba. That's going to be near the bottom, I think, is it? No, 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 no. Sorry about this. Uh, okay, something. Killer jet, zero points. So all your guns and all your weapons are, in fact, unless we uh, I'm thinking it is going to be free to use, basically. So 120 points for a HQ unit. That is really fast moving. Um, yeah, you bet. Right, okay, so. Principally, the way I see you're going to win with this guy is play him as Speed Freaks. Um, play him not as your Warlord, unless you want to just get extra um, gubbins or something and give him the the other bit, but nah, nah, nah. So he's not going to be your Warlord, and he's not going to get... I don't give him any shiny gubbins, to be honest. Um, but you're going to be aiming him at either killing individual characters that might be left out in the cold, 
because he can do that um, and he can um, bully troop units so things like incessors remember though um, it is a vehicle so you couldn't go onto if you've got any guys on top of ruins and stuff like that that is how I would play him. The video's gone on a little while long there. Sorry about that, guys. Um, what I'll say is the password and this one, if you've been... So as I said, my videos tend to go on for about three minutes before people kick off them. If you've stuck to the end, uh, you are one of the chosen. And the password will be... Um, we'll go with here we go. That is the password. So if you've stuck to the end of the video, put here we go and I will know that you are one of the chosen. Um, if you haven't seen, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the bell button so that you don't miss an upload. Thank you very much, guys. If there's anything that I've missed, anything that I've got wrong, please put in the comments down below. And if you want to suggest any videos from the Art Codex that you want me to review, please do so. And I will try my darndest to get that done for you. Thank you very much.